making your sound better. Yo guys, hi, this is Rodet Roman from Double A Production. In this tutorial, I would like to uh, show you uh, or to present you some of the multi band compressors I'm using. I would like to compare them and uh, show you the difference between some regular multi band compressors and some, some dynamics ones that also show you what exactly they are doing, you know, by, uh, by, by some visual visualization. So, yeah, here you can see that I've already loaded some of the multi band compressors I have and I used uh, some, you know, <laughs> someday or something like that. But uh, yeah, let's start. Let's let me first uh, show you that or explain you the difference between like uh, simple equalizer and, for example, the C6 multi band compressor by Faves. Now, the equalizer. Uh, when you want to, for example, here here I have a vocal loop uh, from the pack by WA Production Ultimate. What is that? Ultimate vocal loops. Yeah, it's it's a drop vocal. So check it out. Now let's say that I want to like get rid of some of the mid frequencies, but uh, using uh, using equalizer, you will just you know you will just cut them out completely. Uh, you will also lose the punch of them. You will lose everything. So uh, be really careful about this. I mean, it's a, it's a quick way of uh, working with frequencies, but sometimes on some more important sounds, like for example, uh, lead sounds and and everything drop leads. It's good to like increase some of the high frequencies that I'm using all the time, but uh, playing with mid frequencies like that, you can lose a lot of power. So uh, that's the thing of mul of, of of like regular com uh, <laughs> regular equalizers. But using um, multi band compressor, which means that uh, you can. It depends on the type of compressor you are using, but usually the sound or the, uh, the frequency spectrum is divided into from, from three to like five bands. Uh, in this case, in this C6 uh, by Waves case, the frequency uh, frequencies are divided into four bands. And uh, for example, if I, I would be using this drop lead in my track as, as a lead sound in my drop, I, I and I would like to like, uh, to, uh, sorry for that. I would like to cut off some of the mid frequencies. I won't. Uh, I wouldn't use this equalizer, even though I really like it. But I would prefer to use this uh, multi band compressor because, uh, thanks to thanks to the attack and 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 the wrench and everything, you can control also the punch of the sound. So the compressor really kicks after, you know, after the. After the very peak, after the very like punch of the of the of the sound, and right after that, you know, you will it will just compress the sound. You will lose some of the mid frequencies. That's that's what you wanted, but you won't lose the dynamics and you won't lose the power of the sound. So, you know, check it out. You will you will see it in this shape. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear it. The punch of each of the, of the fat like pop pop is still there. It, it it doesn't lose, you know. It's still there using the multi band compressor, but it's absolutely away using the pop filter Pro Q2. So that's about the difference. And now let me tell you uh, a bit about these uh, multi band compressors. My really favorite one is the is the C6 because. It's so easy to use. I am usually not tweaking these like releases and attacks and everything. The only thing I'm tweaking are these thresholds. 
uh, maybe sometimes you can just you know change the bands just like that it's really easy to use and you can see what all is happening here it also doesn't nearly eat any of your CPU unless for example the FAP filter uh, the multiband compressor by FAP filter that's that's you know I love FAP filter but the multiband is is a terrible CPU eater and I'm just not able to use like more than one of them in my projects unless uh, or it cause, causes uh, cracks and everything so I'm not using that one at all even though it, it looks nice it, it should be it could be powerful but uh, I just have these ones and these work better to me uh, for all of the FL Studio users that really do like native plugins I believe you already know this uh, this multiband compressor this free to multiband compressor and this uh, Maximus uh, the Maximus one is really powerful but uh, I'm not a big fan of these native FL Studio plugins. I really believe that uh, you will get way better results by some third-party third-party um, multiband compressors. So, but if I would, uh, if I would, if I would have to compare these two plugins, the Maximus is the absolute winner because this fruity band multiband, this fruity multiband compressor is. It's just a nightmare. I <laughs> I hate this one. I'm using this one really like very rarely for creating some crazy effects because it nearly it doesn't do the job that it should do. You know, you I tried to use it on my master channel and it just went bad. So I'm not using this one at all. But it uh, it has some like cool features. <laughs> You can also move by the bands right here. You can, yeah, this is just the speed of the projection, but it has all of these like knobs that the multi band compressor should have, but it just doesn't have good sound. Uh, to me, maybe you will like it more. The Maximus one is crazy. I love this one. Uh, I'm also not using it, even though I really know it's, it's like very powerful. You can change the shapes just like that. You don't have to tweak any knobs. It's really cool. Uh, threshold and everything you can even you know add some like pre pre and post gain a lot of uh, a lot of stuff can be done here you can even DS your vocals here and everything uh, honestly I I do not know how the Maximus exactly work because I'm not using it but I know it's a powerful tool so if you have this one and you don't want to spend extra money for some other third-party plugins, definitely check just some like tutorials on YouTube or anything and you will get an extremely good results with this Maximus one. Bye. But now let's go to my favorites. I already show you this uh, C6 by Waves and now here is my here is my boy and that's the UAD Precision Multiband Compressor. I mean uh, to be able to have this compressor you have to buy yourself a completely new sound card that is quite expensive and uh, it contains a lot of other compressors that are more analog situated and everything but uh, the only honestly the only reason why I bought this sound card is this UAD compressor because I love it it's so cool you can see that the uh, frequency spectrum is divided into five sections you can uh, you can tweak all of them you can just uh, I have here I have my like mastering preset I'm using this mastering uh, preset on all of my masters on all of the uh, AA production kits and stuff uh, you can also play with the, the multibands you can just move them just like this so easy to use and you also see everything that ha that happens that that is happening in there uh, again you have these like attack re release ratios everything but you can even uh, change the compression to expand but I am only using it as a compressor really
You can hear that it is, it is creating uh, an amazing sound. Uh, you can just solo these bands just like that, and it's I love it. You know this mix button is great. I'm also using it to control the output gain of, of the master channel. I'm not using it on like individual elements, but I'm really using it mainly on the master channel. And the last one that you probably also know is this Isotope Ozone 5 or 6 or 7 or whatever dynamics um, effect where you have um, this frequency spectrum divided into four sections you can uh, divide it into three sections just like just like that I remove it I'm not yeah okay I can insert I can insert it back I'm not using this one also but uh, this one has also some really cool features you can see uh, all of the compression that is happening you can see it just right there uh, you can which one is this one? You can tweak the knee, you can uh, even gate it, just like that, uh, boom, yeah, you can use the gate effect, you can create some really amazing stuff with it, but it's also not my my like go-to choice, because these guys are my favorite ones, so uh, be sure to uh, check how the multi-band compressors are working, because Without them, you won't be able to get that big and that like clean sound uh, by using just a single compressor or or the equalizer. So uh, it can be applied on on like solo elements of the track, on drop leads, on basses, also future house bass. Uh, it's very uh, or it's very needed to use these multi band compressor on your future house basses because. Uh, Thanks to them, it will still have the right pan punch, and it won't it won't sound that muddy, uh, that like boring, and that you know the, the mid mid frequencies will sound way way more way better and cleaner. So that's about the solomans, and definitely using it on your master channel. I mean, not much, you know, just a slightly, but it will create the the exact edge you you need to have in your track so be sure to check them out and to pick your favorite um, that's all for now for me uh, I really do thank you for watching and yeah just you know hit the subscribe button and see you next time bye